Welcome back! In our last racing tutorial, we created a car and some walls, and we also allowed the car to move correctly using physics. Today, we are going to add car braking, a timer, and touch controls for mobile play. Let's get started! Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is add braking. So let's go to control and drag in a forever under the on start. And let's also drag in an if else statement. And then we're going to go to sensing and find the block called key up arrow pressed. And we're going to drag that into the if. Then we're going to change the up arrow to say down arrow because we want our car to break when we press the down arrow. And then we're going to go to physics. In physics, we're going to find the block called set linear damping and drag one of these into each of the into each of these slots. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to change the top number to 3 and the bottom number to 0 0.1. When we play our game, you'll see that we can break now. Okay, so now let's move on to touch controls for mobile. So let's scroll down to the bottom of our code and go to events and get a block called when false occurs and drag that in and then go to control and find the block called repeat while and drag that in as well. Okay, so now let's go to sensing and find the block called mouse down. And we're going to actually drag in one of these into each of the white spaces. So you should see when mouse down occurs, repeat while mouse down. And in here, we're actually going to write the code to move. So let's go to movement or motion and find the block should be somewhere near the bottom called point towards mouse pointer. Okay. And so now if you run your game, when you, when you click somewhere on the, in the game, you should see that the car points towards your mouse, but now we need to move. So let's actually go back up to where we have our when up arrow pressed and select the apply impulse, double click or right click if you have a mouse on the apply impulse and copy that block. Then let's scroll back down and then right click again and paste the block. Put that right in there. Okay, so now when you play your game, you should be able to move with either your mouse or touching if you use mobile. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a timer to our game. So let's first add an after from the media library. And we are going to go to game elements and scroll down. I like to use this purple progress bar um, as a finish line. You can choose something else, but I'm just gonna choose that. And then I'm going to go to the settings and actually delete all of the costumes except for the fifth one where it's fully purple. And then I'm going to make this progress bar a little bit smaller and then put it right here. Okay, so it should actually be barely behind the car. So what we are actually going to do with this is we're going to start a timer when we start our game, and then we're going to have the car go around the track, and then we're going to stop the timer once the car passes the purple line. So let's get started with that. So let's select the yellow car, and scroll down to the bottom again, and drag in an on start. And then we are going to go to control, scroll down, and then drag in a wait until block. 
Okay. Let's now go to sensing and drag in key up arrow press. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's just going to wait until we start moving and then we're going to run the code. So we actually have a built in um, a built in block called reset timer. So we're going to drag that in as well and it's going to start the timer as soon as you start moving. Okay, so now that we have that, the next thing we're going to do is go to the progress bar that we're using as a finish line. And we're going to go to events and we're going to drag in when false occurs. And then we're gonna go back to sensing and drag in a touching block. So we're going to change mouse pointer to the yellow car. So this will pretty much run this code that we're going to put down here when the car crosses the finish line. So what do we want to happen when the car crosses the finish line? Well, we want to know what our time was. So we're going to go to looks, scroll down until we find the say hello. And we're going to drag that in and we're going to go back to sensing and find this timer block and we're going to drag that into where it says hello so now you can play your game oh okay so as you can see we have another issue um in the purple progress bar we are actually going to drag in an on start and then under physics we are going to set active to false and set static to true this is going to make sure that what you just saw doesn't happen so the timer starts then we're going to cross the finish line as and as you can see it took me 6.867 seconds to finish the lap. Okay, so you have just completed your first racing game using Tinker. If you'd like, you can further customize your game by adding elements such as music, backgrounds, and high scores. That's all for this tutorial though, and thanks again for watching.